The heavy industries uh, are facing an enormous challenge since they have to process uh, all the goods to make uh, products that we daily use. And um, a very central step of these uh, production processes is the separation and purification of chemicals but also energy carriers. This is done today via thermal processes, so meaning that things are heated up and cooled down to be separated. And this is very energy intensive. So the base chemicals uh, that uh, most companies start off, this is uh, oil and gas, or it also can be biogas, it even can be a CO2 that is assembled, but all these materials, they have to be uh, processed before they can be used. So the oil is uh, cut down into small pieces, which then have to be purified again before they can be used uh, as chemicals, uh, as so-called chemical feedstocks. The UNICEF uh, found a way to go away from the heat-driven process and to move more towards uh, size-based separation, so also called uh, mechanical separation. Our technology, which is membrane-based, works like a sieve. So we have tiny crystals that can separate larger molecules from smaller ones. It works just like a sieve in the kitchen where you put the pasta in, water goes through, but your spaghetti are still there. But just we do that on a nanometer scale with CO2, nitrogen, methane. We're talking about separation technology and 10% of all energy used worldwide is used for separation. And this is due to very energy intensive heat driven processes like distillation. Our membrane process is mechanically based and can save up to 90% of that process energy. InnoSwiss supported us from uh, very early on uh, with the InnoSwiss coaching. Uh, so we got their support in uh, IP questions, for example, uh, IP strategy development, but then also later on uh, for internationalization to the US and uh, very lately also to Brazil. So our next goals are to scale up our membrane production to several thousand square meters per day. Then we pilot those and build big units efficiently saving then up to thousands of tons of CO2.